Here's Tracy Leonard in a little bit of space. Really well moved. Oh, what a fabulous goal for Galway. Really well moved. Tracy, what did you learn from the last day that helped you today? Uh, well, there was a lot we learned. Um, I think one was definitely um, we all brought a lot of physicality the first day, so we knew like we couldn't bring the ball into tackle. We know we, we knew we'd play it wide, and you know I think we learned the lessons. And uh, look, lessons are good in life. And uh, you know we got a, a, some game against Mayo two weeks ago, and it, it's great to get that extra game. But uh, look, we're delighted with today's result. So you kept not going into the tackle, and it seemed to work for you because then you picked off the two goals in the first half, and it was almost like it just opened up for you because you were more patient. Yeah, look, I think it's probably not pretty to look at for spectators, but uh, look, whatever gets you results at the end of the day is what matters. And look, we got a result today that we needed, so we're just happy to get that. Tim, how good was Tracy Leonard today, your captain and player of the match? Scored two goals, a few great points. She was all over the field. Yeah, she's a quality play player, Tracy, you know, and she worked hard as well. She's really added that to her game lately as well, so I'm delighted for her. She deserves it. She puts an awful lot into it. She's the leader of the team, so... When your leaders come up trumps, you'll always be happy. And Glynn gets it to Leonard, and Leonard all of a sudden gets a little bit of space. This is what happened for the first goal. Could there be another goal for Galway? They're certainly in behind Louise Ward, and the shot is blocked. And there's still a chance. And then Leonard gets another boot to it, and it goes through soccer style into the net. She hammers the loose ball to the net. Second goal for Tracy Leonard, the Galway captain. You see the supporters over your shoulder going over to the far side, getting a great reception from the crowd over there. You come down to Limerick today, which is very unusual, but a big crowd here at the end of the game. What's it been like to play here today? Was it a little bit surreal, or was it great to be here? Does it feel like you're in Connacht? Um, yeah, look, it probably you know probably don't feel like we are in Limerick with the support that's here, and it, it's probably great to get the promotion for ladies football in front of the senior the men's game that's coming on now next. So, no, like I think it's fabulous. It's great for the promotion of the game, and more of it is needed. Sarah Rowe is over it, but time is up. So this will be the last kick of the game from Sarah Rowe. No matter what she does, Galway will win this, and it drops short. And the ball is booted over the end line and Galway celebrate at the second time of asking. They have beaten their old rivals Mayo. It's three in a row for Galway. It is their 16th Connacht title. Galway have beaten Mayo by 3-7 to 8 points to win the 2019 TG Cahir Connacht Senior Championship Final replay in Limerick. Connacht champions in Munster. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not that long in ladies football. I, I, nothing really surprises me lately, though, basically about things. And I, you know, it, it's been a good occasion. Like this is the, this is right to have it down here with the two counties together and everything else. So it's good exposure for the, for the ladies game, you know. And uh, our girls delighted. And it was a top class performance. Like Mayo really put it up to us, you know. If that goal, the last goal, kind of just came for us at the right time because Mayo were just eking their way basically back into the game. So it was an important turning point in the game. And uh, so we're, we're happy it's gone away today.